Nigeria has 22 airports operated by the Federal Airports Authority of Nigeria. Five of these are functional international airports. In addition, there are state airports and airstrips or airfields scattered around the country. Here in Lagos, three airports serve the air traffic needs of passengers. First is the Murtala Mohammed International Airport. It was originally known as Lagos International Airport. The new terminal opened officially on 15th of March 1979 and was named after a former Nigerian military head of state, Murtala Mohammed. This international terminal was modeled after the Amsterdam Airport. It's the nation's busiest airport with an added cargo terminal open 24 hours daily. Twenty-six foreign airlines plus some of the nation's domestic airlines fly in and out of the terminal each day. The control tower here also takes charge of the air traffic. Two years ago, the terminal was expanded on the D and E wings and extended a few meters forward. The exterior facade of the building was mended to give it a modern look and an expansion of the footprint to create additional capacity and circulation space. New check-in areas and counters as well as immigration desks were added to ease passage for passengers. The General Aviation Terminal is a fan-operated terminal. It was remodeled in 2012 at the cost of 648 million naira. The domestic Terminal 1 in the country had its departure and arrival hall expanded to process about 2.8 million passengers per annum. The airport can handle 12 arriving commercial airplanes at the peak period and 1,500 departing passengers daily. The offices in the one-story facility was built to meet modern airport standards. And lastly, the Murtala Mohammed Airport 2 is the first and only privately funded terminal in Nigeria. It's also the first major build, operate and transfer project. The MMA2 has an obvious passenger and airline demand and currently handles over 50 flights a day. The airport's distinct features include a state-of-the-art terminal building, a multi-story car park, an apron and cargo shed. Last year, the COPS, the self-service check-in kiosk, was launched and the airline check-in counters increased to 45. As part of strategies to curb capital flight, the need to establish a maintenance, overhaul and repair facility in Nigeria is once more coming to the fore. 
According to the managing director of Turkan Aviation Support Services, Archuzie Ezinagu, an MRO facility would save Nigeria huge financial resources, help to train and employ indigenous aircraft engineers, make aircraft checks cost-effective for Nigerian airlines, as well as reinforce Nigeria as a hub in West Africa. It is estimated that Nigeria spends a huge amount annually on periodic maintenance of its aircraft overseas. Massive job losses may be looming in the nation's aviation industry as the National Union of Air Transport Employees says foreign airlines operating into Nigeria are planning massive reduction in the number of employees in order to cut costs and shrink operations. The aviation workers have called on the federal government to prevail on foreign airlines to help avert the loss of jobs, hanging over more than 2,000 workers in Nigeria. The workers under the aegis of the union had written a letter to the Minister of Transportation signed by the General Secretary Olayinka Abioye, asking for a timely intervention to grant foreign airlines concession to repatriate their proceeds to their home countries, which may not be in the interest of the country and our people have not quickly remedied. German authorities say they have stepped up security measures at airports, train stations and the borders with Belgium, France, the Netherlands and Luxembourg following explosions in Brussels early this week. Additional police presence is noticeable at the country's largest airport in Frankfurt and train station. In Berlin, Interior Minister Thomas de Maizière expressed ich bin tief betroffen über die Anschläge, die it appears to be clear that the targets of the attacks at an international airport and a metro station near EU institutions indicate that this terrorist attack was not just against Belgium, but against our freedom and against everyone who is part of the European Union. That is why we feel just as affected by this attack. And the Turkish Prime Minister also condemned this series of blasts in Brussels which have killed more than 20 people. I condemn the attack. It shows once again the face of global terrorism that took place in Brussels this morning, and I express my condolences to the government and people of Belgium. I want to share feelings of solidarity on behalf of our nation. We were in Brussels last week. Today, here again, I invite humankind to act together against every kind of terrorism the PKK, Daesh, DHKPC, every kind of terrorism. As the first anniversary of the German wings crash approaches, the school in Germany, which lost 16 students and two teachers in the French Alps, says what happened is part of its history now. The head of the Joseph Koenig Secondary School said, And here in the background, you can see the the school. In the background, you can see the school's memorial plaque. What happened should be present. It is part of our school's history, and with this history, we want to create our school's future. We want to remember in a dignified way, yet look ahead. He also reflects on the first few days of the tragedy. The first few weeks were, of course, characterized by extreme sadness. Some of the students of that school year lost their best friends. The teacher colleagues, too, lost two among them. But now we have mostly returned to everyday school life. We have taken up our school trips again. Last week, there was one to Spain to take up a student exchange. While the school is putting this behind, a Berlin lawyer who is filing a lawsuit in the United States specializing in aviation law and representing some of the crash victims' relatives says the training school must be called to question. We are not suing Lufthansa or German Wings, but Lufthansa's flight school, which is based in Phoenix, Arizona. Because of the permanently good weather, basic education is carried out there. This is not just any flight school. Lufthansa is sending its aspiring pilots to. This is Lufthansa's flight school. It is part of Lufthansa's educational system. All pilots selected and trained by Lufthansa must undergo training at this flight school.
On March 24, 2015, 144 passengers and six crew members perished aboard Lufthansa's low-cost carrier as a co-pilot crashed the aircraft deliberately into the Alps. I sincerely hope you enjoyed the program. If you have any comments or suggestions, please do reach us on our feedback platforms. Till we'll see you next time, I'm VC Adebayo.